Hi guys, it's Becky, and today I am going to be opening up the Sam's Bead Box for January of 2024. This is a monthly subscription box, usually has gemstones and check glass, and it's curated to a theme. Um, it's provided by Sam's Bead Shop. And this month's box is a collaboration between Sam's Bead Shop and Brittany Chavers, who, if you're not familiar with her, her YouTube channel is Turquoise Street, and she's a really great jewelry designer. She does stuff for JTV, and she's, one of her favorite things is turquoise. So, obviously, we're going to have a turquoise-themed box, which is fantastic, because I don't know if you've know, met me before, but I love turquoise. It is such a great stone, it has so much history, it has so much meaning, um, not just, you know, to other people, but also to me and my family. My grandma gave me my very first jewelry set when I was a baby, and it was a turquoise pendant, and uh, I had a little bracelet, and I think there was a ring too, but it was turquoise and silver, and that was given to me, like, from my grandma, Turquoise always reminds me of her, especially turquoise and silver. Um, but if you've met me before, you know that turquoise and copper kind of has my heart. I love those two colors together. So I'm hoping that we're seeing, gonna see some copper findings in here, but let's find out what this is all about. Let's look at our little blurb. They always give you some history um, in a little insert with this. There's also a list of these that go there. And you know what the nice thing is? They print this on a sticker and I didn't even think about that but this sticker will fit great on the lid of my organizer because these are my favorite organizers um, and I'm going to be sorting it into this 15 grid organizer um, because if I just leave my beads in their box they will not get used but I've put them in an organizer and I can see all of them all at once I am much more likely to use them so I just heck I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be putting my little item list because it's on a sticker you can just put it right on there that's one of the really really great things that they do those tiny touches that make it a little bit better but January turquoise trails let's go ahead and read what Brittany has to say about this this is from her point of view no, this isn't Sam's or um, Rachel talking this is Brittany so it says in 2018 I left the gloomy winters of Ohio to fulfill a dream of mine and move to the breathtaking landscapes of Arizona I love walking the trails around Papago Mountain it has extraordinary form formations and swarrow cacti. Sunsets are awe-inspiring with the multiple multitudes of changing colors. She is obsessed with turquoise. I, I know how that feels. It is a bomb to your eyes, actually. Same. So when we started brainstorming for this box, we knew it would be central to our palette. The fun part was choosing colors to complement the turquoise and portray the tranquil desert landscapes that I love. There's terracotta, mustard, soft pink, and orange. Um, my favorites this month, if I must pick, would be the Jasper Donut and the Tiara Cast Button. Okay, is it picture Jasper? Because that would be really rad. Anyway, I just wanted to take a minute and like, I moved to the Phoenix metric area when I was like 10. My formative years were spent like up in the mountains in uh, Utah, but we moved there when I was 10 and so when people ask where I grew up, that's where I did my growing up, was there in the Phoenix area. And one of my very, very favorite memories of that is going on drives with my mom. You know, like she works long hours. She had side hustles and four kids to raise. And she would take the time. She made the time. Sometimes it was late at night. Sometimes it was it was whenever she'd make some time to spend some time with us. And, and part of that would be just getting in the car and going for a drive. And so... We would drive around the area. Sometimes we'd go out to Gilbert, which at the time was mostly cow pastures and orange blossoms. So, you know, you'd be driving along and you'd have the windows down to smell the orange blossoms. And then you'd hit cow pasture and you'd roll the windows up. And then you roll it down again for the orange groves. Anyway, it was a whole thing. But one of the places we'd go for drive would be over at Papago Park. So we'd go out there and we'd park in a little parking lot, look out at the sparkling city below us. And often, there would be one of the Native American tribes there practicing drums, doing some, some singing and doing all that. So we would, again, roll down the windows, 
look out at the city, talk and listen to the sound of the drums and the singing. And it was like bomb to the soul, basically, like turquoise is to Brittany. And um, just you brought that up in this. And I just wanted to say how much I love that part of the Phoenix metro area. I love that it's still there and it's available for people to still enjoy a piece of the desert, a piece of that, um, the Sonoran landscape um, right there in the heart of the city. So I'm going to move on real quick to the rest of this unboxing before we go on. And we're going to go through the little list. We've got strands, we've got stuff in bags, and it is all thoughtfully packaged in recyclable packaging, except for the, the bags and things. I'm going to save these for later. Maybe I will be sharing them with my son, who we have plans to spend some one-on-one -on -one time together. And that's one of those things that I picked up from my mom and I carried it through to my family, is that it is important to make time to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with your kids to just talk, have fun, bond, maybe watch some anime. Oh, goodness, look at these colors. This is beautiful, Brittany. This is gorgeous, Sam. I, oh, geez. Look at this, and it is copper. I'm, I'm just going to take a minute and just soak in these colors. And honestly, I'm sorry because <laughs> the, the, the shine is blocking it for you. I, I just needed a minute to look at these. So let's pull these out and we're going to get them sorted into our, um, we're going to take a closer look at all of these. We'll get them sorted into our containers. And uh, let's see, what is our date for, all right. So one thing that I like to do is when there's an official reveal date for these subscription boxes, I wait until after then to post my unboxing. So you won't see this until after or on the 19th. I'll, I'll post it after they do it. So it's going to be like 5 p.m. my time. I'm in Texas. Um, so I'll actually schedule it for like an hour after that so that they can do their official unboxing. And I like to actually participate and, and be in the chat when they do these live. But uh, but that should be pretty cool. And it looks like, um, are we going to have any classes with Brittany where she makes stuff with us? I bet we'll find out in either Brittany's group or Sam's group on Facebook. They'll probably do an announcement for that. So that's going to be... That's going to be fun. All right, let's open this up though, because I am excited to see what we've got in here and what we can make with these things. Ooh, pretty. I'm also excited to see what kind of silver silk we're going to get. I'm pretty sure we're going to get some copper because why not? Um, I actually do have some copper uh, flat mesh and I think some capture chain that I could go with this. So let's get these. One of my strands came undone, which makes it easy for me because then I just have to round up these beads. I don't have to unstring it. But look at all of these strands of beads. We've got a lot of check glass. Now this is the, the box that is pretty check glass heavy, but there's also usually some gemmy gems in here. And there's usually some really cool beads that are interesting cuts that you may not find somewhere else. And that's one of the things about Sam's bead box is that it is such an individual box. It's not like a lot of others. Oh my goodness, look at our little carved bird. And you know what? This is that color that I have a lot of trouble with. <laughs> you guys know my, my history with this mustard yellow. Um, it's so pretty, but, and you know what? It's earrings, so it's not, it's, it, it, it could be worn. Look at these hearts. Jeez. Okay, we're going to be getting to these later. So I'm going to set these over here and we'll... Oh. <gasps> okay, sorry. <laughs> calm down, Becky. Calm down. Never calm down. No. Aha! Uh -huh. It is. It looks like it's Picture Jasper. I love that. I love that. That is so much like the kind of rocks that you see in the desert and in the areas in the mountains in Arizona. Um, I, fun fact, I, uh, I once spent like three months hiking around in the mountains in Arizona and I found this awesome rock that was like 
huge. It was like a 10 pound rock, um, but it was some sort of Jasper. It had dark red and light orange like stripes in it. And I was like, oh no, I got to take this with me. And I carried that around in my backpack for like hundreds of miles. Um, I have no idea where that rock is now. It was gorgeous, but it was like, I mean, rocks are really, really, really cool. <laughs> you guys, they're so cool. Rocks, rock. All right, let's go from, from the top down. All right, so we've got some Chet Glass Fancy Drops and they are seafoam opal with a copper finish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the seafoam opal, opal, I don't know if you can see the light shining behind it. So it's like semi-opaque. It's not completely opaque, so you can get a little bit of that. And that's what the, the opal, seafoam opal there. But yeah, these are check glass. They are beautiful. And I am going to stick these in one of my sections here. Uh, all right, let's get these guys here to start off our organizing. And so because there are so many beads, often I will um, buddy up and we'll have like roommates or something in some of these sections. So we'll figure out which ones kind of go with that one, but um, are different enough that we can, I'm probably gonna be putting these guys in there. Let's, let's just be honest. That's that may be where they go or else these ones, but we'll get to them when we get to them. So the next one is Czech Glass Drux. They are turquoise seafoam opal mix and they are a four millimeter strand. And that's what this one is. It is two different colors. One is one side is clear and the other side is not so clear, but they are this seafoam color and the seafoam is like the closest to turquoise. I think in the check glass that you get, but I'm going to stick these guys right here in this corner. And there are so many on this strand. Look at this strand. It says it's a 75 piece strand, but that's like, it's a good 14 to 15 inches. And it's all of these four millimeter beads. These are going to be so great paired with some of these other beads like in between some of these I think they look, I mean all of these go really really well together I'm <sighs> I cannot complain about anything with this box that I have zero zero complaints so far about all of these and just a lot of loves on this um the next is Chet Glass uh TC Flower Turquoise Picasso that's this one turquoise with this Picasso finish. So it's not exactly the copper finish. It's just right there in the in the little bits and you can kind of see it along the edges too. These are beautiful and you know what? These would make really great wire wrapped rings. I think that's going to be one of my projects. I'm going to do a wire wrapped ring with one of these and it's gonna look great and yeah i am gonna just go ahead and stick them in here with my teardrops because we've got a lot of other beads and i've only got 15 compartments so they're gonna they're gonna be buddy buddying and i mean look at this long long strand of this uh which is honestly that's that's the next guy on here now this is magnesite that has been dyed it is not turquoise turquoise but it is the color of and it is perfect and this is just a real real long strand this is about a 15 inch strand right here so let's get this in here and because these are larger beads these are eight millimeter and it's such a long strand it's gonna take up some space in here I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the divider so that we have enough room for all of these beads because otherwise they wouldn't fit in one of these sections on my organizer. I usually do this when we have long strands of beads. This is just a really generous amount of these beads in here. Oh my god, these are so great. 
I love this. This is such a great box. So much. Thank you, Brittany, and thank you, Sam and Rachel, for putting this together. Um, I'm probably going to be buying some shop extras. They usually don't make them available to purchase until after the reveal date. And then it's usually like maybe a week and a half before you get them after after making that purchase because it is a small business it's like it they they don't have a separate shipping department so the, they ship things on one day of the week so <laughs> you know things don't ship out the next day but that's because it's a small business and that's how they do things and it's totally fine so we've got the magnesite rounds then we've got some check glass melon beads this is turquoise and brown they are five millimeter and these are the ones that my strand broke so it's turquoise and brown melons and i'm honestly i think we're gonna put these right here next to this one they are five millimeter beads and we have several of these these are beautiful all right, we've got most of the turquoise ones. We've got some copper and orange guys and some other golden colors. So we've got a lot of these over here on this side. Maybe I should scooch over here and start doing blues. And then, yeah, I think that's how I'm gonna organize this. We're gonna have this side be mostly blues and this side be mostly our orangey terracotta side. All right, let's do that then. It feels good to me to do that. Now we've got some check glass rondelle spacers. They are satin copper. That is these guys right here. Satin copper rondelle spacers. And there's about 75 of these on here. They are two by four millimeter. Let's, oof. I'm just gonna bring this a little bit closer so you can get a closer look at these. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick them right here in the front because they are a bit smaller. And these, uh, yes, perfect. These are perfect, these are perfect. Nothing wrong with these at all. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, that copper finish is perfect. And this is about the same finish too for these, uh, these star beads. This is also satin copper. It's a 25 piece strand and it is six millimeter stars. And they're just these puffy little stars they are beautiful and you know what we're gonna have a roommate situation here i'm gonna stick my stars in here with our rondelle spacers because it's a different shape so you can tell they're different beads but they're kind of the same color so your eye will be able to see what they are so roommate situation sorted these guys already picked who they're going to be with it's great so next on our strands is we have a yellow jade star cut strand now this yellow jade is it's not a bright bright yellow it is a beautiful mellow yellow it's kind of like a i'd say this is one of those yellows that you get with uh not exactly like when I, i'm thinking of paint colors like this is more gold gold and less like uh what is what is what is the earth earth pigment um yellow ochre it's almost yellow ochre but it's more golden than that um for this color i'd say there are different variations in the color but look at this cut it's one of my favorite cuts for these gemstones this star cut it gives it a lot of flashiness and sparkle and I'm gonna go ahead and open this guy up over here that's 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 great beads we're gonna definitely incorporate these into some of the things that we make this month I think and I'm, I'm excited to see what sort of things we get from Brittany for this month, too, because she'll probably do some classes with Sam's um, and do some tutorials. It's going to be really cool. All right, so then we've got uh, the picture Jasper Heishis. Now, this is awesome because it has 
all of these picture jasper heishis. Let's get a couple of these a little bit closer up. I'm going to put this on my ladybug so you can see some of this rock and stone a little bit closer. These are awesome and I'm going to stick them right here. These will be some really great spacers for some of our things that we make. Right there, ah, under the rocks and stones, there we go. Now we've got some daisy spacers, that's these guys right here, and they are terracotta color. Oop. They are the same color as these five millimeter fire polish beads. So these guys, I believe, are going to have a roommate situation as well. I'm gonna stick my fire polish beads and these daisy spacers. They're that size of shape. They got little bumps all around them. I think I think this box is one that I'm going to do a painting with because I love these colors and I have paint that will do this. We're going to do maybe a sunrise in the desert or possibly a sunset, especially since um, the Arizona skies. There was like a whole, somebody did a, a whole song about that in the 90s the little fluffy clouds about how the skies in Arizona are just the most beautiful skies you've ever seen. Like I see people who live in Texas posting about how great the sunsets are in Texas and they can't be beat anywhere. And I just think they haven't spent enough time in, in Arizona because every day, every day is a work of art in the sky, every single day. So we're, we'll probably do that because that'll give us a chance to use some of our oranges and we can use some of our ochre colors for the desert and we can use some of our turquoise for parts of the sky and uh, and I think that'll be really fun. I've, I've already got a plan. It's already planned. We're gonna do that. It'll probably be a, a couple of weeks from now because you know scheduling but yeah I've, I've already got a plan. I'm gonna do a desert landscape with a sunset as my painting and then I will make a necklace to go with it. So that, that's what we'll do. It's one of my favorite things to do is take the same color palette that I'm making jewelry with and do a painting. And I have a, a few different videos that I've done with that. But let's move on because we need to look at the rest of these beads. I'm, I'm just having ideas while I'm doing this. Now this stone pink, this is such a brilliant way to bring in the rosy tones for some of the, the stones that you'll see, some of the, the things in the desert out there. Um, a lot of times, uh, the flowers on the cacti, they'll be like these blooms that just have these pops of colors out there. And, uh, this is a really, really great color for this. It is pink stone is the color, but it is Czech glass. So it's glass, looks a little bit like stone, but I love these, this bicone shape. It is a really fun shape. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and pop these guys right in here in this corner because they are the warmest of the colors that we've got here. And it's on the opposite side from these cool colors over here. These, uh, these colors aren't like the other ones. They're the cool colors. Anyway, <laughs> I crack me up. I'm going to go ahead and pop those guys in there. And now we've got one last strand and this is orange dyed agate so it is not this color it reminds me a little bit of carly carnelian but it is um it's more orange it's more it's got more yellow tones to it than carnelian usually does and so this is a very warm bright color and i think all of these are going to fit in the same compartment these are eight millimeter or are they eight yep they're eight millimeters and this is a seven inch strand for these 
Yep, and they all fit right in that same compartment. All right, now let's get our bags open. Let's start looking at those. All right, so we've got our floral hearts. And remember, I was looking at this, and I actually, they've got a, a label on them, so I'm not going to go down the list anymore. I'm just going to grab them, and we're going to take a look at what the label says, um, just so that we've got, we've got that going. So we've got our floral hearts. They are floral turquoise with a copper wash, and they are beautiful, and they are going to be perfect in a pair of earrings. I've already got plans for these. I'm going to stick them right here. They could go in here if I need extra space, but for right now, I'm going to stick them right there because they're kind of the special um, check glass, the larger beads. Um, I do have a couple more of these in here. Like we've got the check glass table cut flower with a copper dust and it's turquoise colored and then a terracotta silk check glass flower. It's an 18 millimeter flower. And this has kind of a, a gold finish on it, on the inside of it. So you can see the table cut there. It shows off the bits. And I actually kind of like this one better. And I think I might bezel this one and make it part of a focal on a necklace. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing with this one. But I'm going to stick these guys because they are kind of like the special larger check glass beads, the one-offs. I'm going to stick them all together in this part of the organizer right here. All right, and then we've got the carved birds. Come on, buddy. There is a check glass carved bird. It is mustard yellow. And then these table cut pear brios. They are sunflower silk etched stones. So let's take a look at these. This has, it's like an avocado. <laughs> Honestly, if it was, it was greener, it would be, I would make avocado earrings with these. But it's got the dark brown on one side and then we've got the table cut on the other. And it is a brio, so it is pear shaped. And it has a hole, hold on, let's, that goes right through the top. I'm trying to show you where the hole goes, right through the top there. So these guys are yellow, and I'm going to put them right up here in this section. Actually, nope, I'm putting them right up here. I mean, they are kind of our special beads. They could go in here with the others, but we're going to, we we got to... I reserve the right to move things around <laughs> in here. All right, because we still have a lot more beads over here that we can put away. Actually, nope. That's that's what we're going to do. We're going to... All right, I've got... the. Here we go. We got some carnelian. These are dice cube. They're heated and dyed to adjust their color. But take a look at the cut on this. And the hole on this goes kind of in a cool direction because it's it's a cube shape, but the hole goes, do I have a, here we go. The hole makes it sit at a diagonal like that instead of, you know, like this as, as a cube. So these are a really fun shape and they are going to be fun to play with in some of our jewelry designs. I'm going to stick these guys right up here for now. And let's get our little findings, copper findings. We've got a longhorn button, take a look at that, and a Southwest Desert teardrop focal. And these are tiara casts. So uh, unfortunately, Terra has shut down, so they're not going to be making any more of these. So it's going to be difficult to find, but this is going to make a great focal, I think. With this, I might actually do a little bit of bead weaving around the bottom. Or, yeah, now I'm going to be bead weaving with this. We're going to do that, and we've got our little longhorn button, which will be great as a closure for, or even a part of a focal, actually. You can do a lot of cool things with button. Brittany does a lot of really cool things with button on her channel. If you're not subscribed to her channel, you should go check it out because she does some really, really cool things um, in her videos. All right, so now I've got some check glass carved links. These are pink stone with a Picasso window. There are two different colors. 
This Picasso window, you can see the light coming through on the other side. It's kind of a, a coppery color. There are two of these guys. They have a coppery wash. And this has a bit of a curve to it, if you can see this check glass. The hole goes side to side through the top. And here's the pink Picasso over here. And this pink color is so reminiscent of these bicones. I'm going to go ahead and stick these guys right in here. And I'm wondering if I should, yeah, I'm just going to stick these guys in there too, because they're the same shape, but they're just a different color. I think that's a good way for me to be able to see what I've got still, but for them to all be in one place. All right. So now we've got our two hole, <gasps> two hole beads. Yay. Sunflowers. They are turquoise brown and there's an eight piece set of these. I'm probably going to be buying more of these. Just letting you know when they put extras in the shop, we have two holes. And if you guys can see through the side of these, these are going to be great. I'm going to be making either a necklace or a bracelet with these. And they are the same finish as these melon beads. So I'm going to stick them in the same compartment as them. They are a wildly different shape, but that way I can see that I still have the melon beads and I have these when I go to do my designing and getting ideas about things. We've got two more left to sort into here and then this will be over. This is a very full box. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, I'm actually surprised that I can fit it all in here, but we've got a that picture Jasper donut. This is a fantastic donut. Look at this. And this is why it's Picture Jasper is, is where it is. It's actually only available in one spot, can be found in one spot on the planet, and that's near Jasper in South Dakota, out in the, the hills there. But it, it has, it looks like a landscape. It looks like this sort of thing. So it is a South Dakota stone, not an Arizona stone, but it does look just like the desert. And so I'm gonna go ahead and stick that right in here with my bird and our special table cut avocados. I just, I'm calling them avocados, guys. I don't know why beads are always food to me, but they are. We don't eat the beads, but we, we definitely think they look delicious. I think that's why they send us the candy, so we can eat these instead of the beads, right? All right, and then we've got the button style flower beads. They are pink cream mix with a bronze luster. And let's get a little bit closer so you can get a good look at some of these. I'm going to pull out my ladybug. So you guys can get a better look at these guys. I'm going to go ahead and stick them here next to my carnelian dice. And there we have it. This is the January Sam's Bead Box. And it has been curated by Brittany Chavers. I'm excited to see what she comes up with to make with this. I already have ideas of things that I can make with this. And this is definitely, I love this color palette. I'm definitely going to be doing a painting with this. So look forward to that. It's probably going to be in a couple weeks. And I hope you guys have a really fantastic weekend and a happy time making things. Until next time. Bye.